Let's write the molecular structure for 2-propanol, C3H8O. So when we're given the chemical formula here, the C3H8O, it tells us the number of atoms. It really doesn't tell us the arrangement of atoms. We can arrange these in different ways. But with 2-propanol, we have a lot of information. So first off, OL, when we see that it ends in this OL here, that means we have an alcohol. So we're going to have an OH group attached to the rest of the molecule. Here that'll be the carbon atoms. So we know we have this OL. This AN, that's from an alkane. That tells us we're going to have just single bonds. So that's helpful. And then pro, that means three. So we're going to have three carbons, which we kind of already knew. Finally, the two, that tells us that this alcohol, this OH group here, is going to be on the second carbon. So let's take a look at that. So here's propane, the alkane, propane. We're going to take on the second carbon. So here's carbon one, two, and three. On the second carbon, we're going to put an OH here instead of the H. So let's just move the H over and put an O there next to it. And the oxygen is bonded to the second carbon, and the hydrogen here is bonded to the oxygen. So this would be the structure, the molecular structure for 2-propanol. Again, the OL tells us we have our alcohol here. We have the propane, the three carbon single bonded, and then the two tells us where our alcohol is. Sometimes you'll see this written as propan2-ol. That's just another way to do it. And the common name is isopropyl alcohol. Let's take a look at the skeletal structure here for 2-propanol. So in our skeletal structure, we have a carbon here, here, and here. Then here's our oxygen bonded to the hydrogen, our alcohol. So this is another way to write it. We could even look at the molecular structure here like this. The whites are the hydrogen atoms, the black, those are the carbon, red is oxygen. So again, we have one, two, three carbons. On the second carbon, we have this OH group, our alcohol group. So this is our structural formula. We have a skeletal formula, and then we have the molecular model here for 2-propanol. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.